Hi, values friends. In the previous video, I discussed on the meaning of research paradigm and its basic components. Yes, ontology, epistemology, and axiology are the key components of the research paradigm. In this specific video, I discussed the meaning and nature of ontology. Actually, what is ontology and what are the key characteristics of ontology? The word ontology is new for the beginner researcher. As for the sharing of novice researcher, it is very difficult term to understand. When we choose the problem for our research, we need to find the new knowledge to give the answer of the research problem. In this process, the fundamental thing we should know is the nature of the reality or the nature of the knowledge. Basically, we can experience two kinds of reality. One is objective reality and another is subjective reality. In objective reality, reality exists independently of our beliefs or understanding, which can be absorbed directly and accurately. Yes, as per the notion of objective reality, only material or physical world is considered real and life is defined in measurable terms rather than inner experiences of the people. In this way, as per the objectivist ontology, there is the possibility of single reality or single truth. In subjective reality, reality is the socially constructed matter it may change and there is the possibility of multiple reality. In subjective reality, external reality exists, but is only known through human mind and socially constructed meanings. Social phenomena and their meanings are continually being accomplished by social actors or through the interaction among the researcher and research participants. Social phenomena and their meanings are produced through social interaction and are in a constant state of revision. In subjective reality, life is defined in estimate terms based on inner experiences of women where choice, freedom, and individual responsibility are appreciated. In this way, ontology described the researcher's view of the nature of reality or being on the social organizational phenomenon study. Thank you very much for watching this video. In next video, I will talk on epistemology, which is second key components of the research paradigm. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel and providing feedback. Thank you once again.